Back to you goblins at the desk. Miss Carmen, Miss Carmen, she's a fabulous cook. She's also SUTV member Chandler Harris's mom, and she's back again to share her cooking skills with us. Chandler Drew Harris takes us back into the kitchen. Hey, Miss Carmen back at you again, per Chandler Drew's request. Here today, we're going to cook something nice, quick, and easy, and it won't, we'll be sort of friendly on those college budgets. So what we're going to need is some thinly sliced chicken breast, some peppers. I actually have some sweet peppers from my garden that are actually delicious, sweet, listen, mm. sun-dried tomatoes, penne pasta. Okay, what we're gonna first do is we're gonna first boil our penne pasta. <clears throat> we're gonna boil it to its al dente. Oh, 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 the girl around me, she played for real. That's not for real. Situation. Analyze. Ooh, 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 analyze. You gotta be smart about it. Gracious, uh -oh, with the guy, build on and sacrifice. The loser could not be without it. My life, I love you. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Hey, hey there. How you guys doing? Sorry about all that. You know, sometimes Miss Calm, you know, she gets a little ahead of herself. She likes to use some words that some people might not understand. I'm here to help you guys out. She might use words like al dente or saute. I'm just here to clear the air and hopefully you guys can understand these words so that you guys can make yourself something good. I'm just here to help. So, all right. Enjoy it, all right? Peace. And for this, you can use about two cups and I have a, a blend of garden vegetable and whole grain. They're both whole grain pastas. And whatever pasta you want to use. Same brand, it can be whatever. Whatever you like. Pour some of that in there, and that's going to boil. That's looking a little scampy. We might have to add a little bit more. And what we have here is we have our sweet uh, red peppers. I'm going to slice these up. And use your nice chopping board, whatever you have. Make sure you... Uh, Cut away from your fingers. All right, we'll check our chicken. Chicken is about it's ready to come off. Be careful when you're doing when the oil is a little hot and splattery. We're going to now saute our peppers. Now we're going to take our peppers and we're going to actually saute the peppers in the same oil we use to cook our chicken in. As my father would say, you made the money now. And it won't take long. We're going to have a little crunch. We don't want our peppers to be limp. And I'm just cutting the chicken up in, in bite-sized pieces. And you see our chicken is done. Still moist. See juice still in there. Because, you know, the last thing you want is a dry piece of chicken. Mm, Miss Carmen, that chicken ain't dry. But see, it can't be too dry because you can use your sauce. The sauce won't make it mm -mm good. Now we're going to drain our pasta. Stay tuned after the break for more Miss Carmen. What we're gonna do is why that pasta there, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take these peppers and just put them on in there. Look at that color, look at that. Excellent. Oh, come on, this is just beauty. Beautiful, look at that. Okay, I don't care if they don't like them. I'm gonna add a couple more because I just love sun-dried tomatoes. Now, we're gonna add our chicken in. To get the chicken. Here we have our chicken. We're gonna add that in. Talk about an easy one pot meal. There we go. A little 
tri-color veggie penne pasta, some whole grain wheat pasta, you got your sauteed chicken breast. We're gonna add the classico, creamy spinach and parmesan. Try to get all of your pasta sauce out of the jar. If you have a little, if you have a little extra, maybe red wine, if you're a wine drinker, you can add just a little bit in there to get your sauce out because I think water doesn't add anything to the flavor. For us, 21 years and older. And that was one jar, I think 24 ounces, but I'm gonna put a little of the regular marinara sauce because I like it a little saucier than this. Because sometimes what you'll find out is the pasta will absorb some of the sauce. That will probably do the trick. And this is just regular marinara sauce. Okay, and we're gonna plate this up. Put a little penne pasta with the chicken on there. Make sure we have a little chicken, a little sun-dried tomatoes. Go, and you know what we're gonna do to make it look nice? We're gonna finish it off with a little Parmesan Reggiano cheese. Oh, delish. So you've been cooking with Miss Carmen. Thanks for joining us. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. See you next time. Just let it be known that if you made it this far, all seven minutes, I really, really, really appreciate you watching. So there's nothing more I can really say. Thank you very much. I mean, well, maybe you could click against the button right, right there, right there, I think. But, but you know, if you press that, you know, I love you even more. Either way, thank you. I love you, Miss Carmen.